Hi, you guys. Welcome to the Egg Whisperer Fertility Expert Series. I have Hannah Janamdar. She's co-founder and CEO of Juno Bio, and we're going to talk about the vaginal microbiome. She is coming to us from London today, and we're going to talk all about the microbiome, the health conditions that it can affect, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm in and we're going to talk about the vagina, how it is or maybe isn't a self-cleaning oven. You guys are going to find out. She's going to, hi, Hannah, how are you? Hello, good, very good. I'm glad, we're, glad we can do this and it's all good. Me too, and absolutely. I'm so excited. So just tell people about yourself, like your background and science and engineering and what you do for your company. Tell us about yourself. Yeah, okay. So I'm a scientist by training. So I have a background in biology and biochemical engineering. I started researching microbiomes and then I formed Juno Bio to work specifically on the vaginal microbiome, which is something that I was so shocked that nobody else was working on. Uh, and I was hoping that Juno would be where the buck sort of stopped, where we decoded it and closed the gender health gap in doing so. And what is a microbiome? Break it down for us for people who don't know what that word means. Microbiomes are literally just communities of microbes. So all the bacteria, the yeast, the virus that live in and on us and have a huge impact on our health and wellness. So a lot of people will know it in the context of the gut and it helps you metabolize your food, etc. But it also exists in your skin, uh, in your mouth and, you know, in your reproductive tract, in your vagina. And the vaginal microbiome, the microbes that live in your vagina, are super important to your overall health and fertility. Um, yeah, 56% of your cells are microbial. So I think that's really important to keep in mind uh, mm -hmm. in terms of like its impact on us. Yeah, I mean, we hear about probiotics, prebiotics, and, and can you just tell us, like, could your fertility issue, like for people who are watching, could that be explained by an abnormal microbiome? And what does the research show as it relates to that? Yeah, so the research is ongoing, but there's two growing sort of areas that's really fascinating. One is the vaginal microbiome and it, its impact on IVF success rates. And it's the research shows, for instance, that 91% of women that have disrupted vaginal microbiomes will go on to fail their IVF round. The sample size is small right now in these studies, but it is growing. And the other sort of area of research that is really being worked on is the vaginal microbiome, the context of things like tubal factor infertility. So the vaginal microbiome is implicated in things like pelvic inflammatory disease, um, which is also implicated then in, in like tubal factor infertility. So we already know um, that STIs can cause tubal factor infertility, but there's a growing body of research that shows the other microbes that live in your vagina when it's sort of disrupted can also be quite important elements uh, in that sort of aspect. Right. So how do you check a vaginal microbiome? Is it a blood draw? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's super easy <laughs> vaginal swab. So think like the type of swabs you've been using for COVID testing, but instead yeah. of putting it in your nose, you just swab your lower your lower vagina, as it's called, for 20 seconds, and, and you're done. And you you've tested it, and you send it to labs like ours, uh, and you get back a comprehensive list of all the bacteria, the fungus, which is also yeast and fungus is the same thing uh, in your in your vagina, and what it means for you and your unique context. And then if you're my patient, you would download the PDF and send it to me and we'll talk about the results and I'll make recommendations. But if a patient isn't, if someone out there isn't my patient, what would they do then? Um, so once you get your results, you can actually book a 15 minute one-on-one -on -one with a vaginal coach from Juno who answers any questions that you might have and walks you through your, what your next steps can look like. And so sometimes that can be, you're good, you're chilling, nothing to worry about. And sometimes it can be, you really should follow up with your doctor and get a confirmatory diagnostic. This is the wellness test and get whatever treatment that you need to get. Sometimes that'll be antibiotics, which are obviously prescription uh, things. And sometimes it will be, you know, things that you can do over the counter or just generally to support your, your wellness. So it can be things like definitely avoid douching, better practices, but also prebiotics and probiotics that you can take to support your uh, vaginal microbiome. Excellent. And then what about for men? I mean, is there a similar test in, in a, that a guy could do? There should be, right? There absolutely should be, but there isn't, unfortunately, at the minute. And I hope that in a year or two, uh, we can figure that out. But at the minute, no, men, men don't have this. <laughs> men don't have this. And how would they do that swab? Hmm. A mangina? I don't know. Okay. Um, so where can people find your test? 
Um, so you can find it at juno.bio, www.juno.bio, J-U-N-O, um, and you can just order it directly. So there's no faff. Um, just go there, get it, get it in the post in a couple of days. And then how long do you get results back? Like how, what's the expectation? So if I send in my test today, when would I get my results back? A few days, a week, two weeks? Yeah, in, in five to 10 days. So we're kind of the fastest next generation sequencing test and our, our team is, is a killer team and they, they yeah. really work day and night to get that sort of turnaround time. That's excellent. Well, I appreciate all the work that you're doing. You know, I've been using your test now for a little bit since you guys have, you know, launched and, and I find the test to be helpful. I have some pretty interesting stories where patients who've had two transfers, for example, that didn't work and I did all the tests and then I did your test, for example, and that helped kind of change some of the recommendations that I made. Who knows why it worked the next time, but, you know, I would say thank you for your test. Maybe they'll name their baby Juno <laughs> after your test. Oh, my so I, I hope they do. Yeah. Juno's a great name. <laughs> so for a lot of you guys who already know that, I have the Tushy Method, right? So the tushymethod.com, five tests you can do to learn about your fertility, tubes, uterus, sperm, hormones. And the why is your genetics. But I feel like maybe we should talk about your vaginal microbiome as part of those tests as well. What do you think about that? I am 100% there with you. I think we yeah. should also. Cool. Well, thank you, Hannah. Thank you for joining us today. Where are you joining us from? I'm in London uh, at the minute, but our our company is based in between here and the Bay Area. So I, I get, you know, where you are and where I am, it's just the, it's the norm for me. It's a small world. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you again, Hannah, for joining us. And for you guys out there, go to juno.bio and see what you think about the test and see if it can help you talk to your doctor about it and see if they recommend it. Okay. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you.